gimbal too big and too time consuming to fiddle around with thousands of parts. Look at this! I really love extraordinary locations. Let's unpack this. Ah, man! Only the best for the athlete. Remember, I lost my shades in France. I lost my shades. I call myself a shy blogger. That's so paradox because uh, as a blogger, you cannot avoid to speak in public, especially when you travel a lot. And I tell you what, I have lots and lots of mechanisms to suppress and overcome my shyness, but that's another topic. And because of my shyness, I want my gear as minimalistic as possible to avoid any attention. There are some amazing travel vloggers that I admire a lot, especially from the cinematographic standpoint. But I'm very certain that chasing the perfect cinematic shot comes at a cost of not enjoying your travel. My goal is to be both low profile and to make cinematic shots without fiddling so much with the gear. And this is why some of my awkward devices won't find its way to my camera bag. By the way, my camera bag itself is worth mentioning. It is so small, it has a lot of pockets, it's weatherproof, and the cool thing about it is you don't even have to put it on the ground to get to your gear. This is so practical. You can put your batteries here inside this little pocket. So it's always available for you. Before I want to talk about what comes into my bag, I'm going to tell you my no-goes first. Oh, guys, it's so cold here in Germany. I wish I could be somewhere warm. What about my laptop? Well, I could start editing my videos while traveling, but come on, it would feel like work. I guess I wouldn't enjoy traveling, but I could review my clips with it or at least make a backup. No, I can show you a better way later. Gimbal, too big and too time consuming to fiddle around with thousands of parts. A waterproof case for my GH5. I love underwater shots, but it's too clumsy to handle with and filming with this would be like blind flying. As much as I like the Sigma lens, it's simply too heavy and too big. Okay, this one is a fake drone. I don't have a drone anyway, because I'm still waiting for the fully autonomous drone. And what I've seen so far from other travelers who use the drone, drones attract too much attention. So the big question is, what actually gets into my camera bag? This is my Lumix GH5 and this will definitely come into my camera bag. The GH5 served me well for almost three years. It's the perfect travel cam. You can make cinematic shots, but because it's relatively small, it's inconspicuous at the same time. I really love my GH5. You can't imagine how my GH5 suffered in all those years. It fell numerous times even into the water, but it's still working and I still do client jobs with it. Spoiler alert, maybe it's time to say goodbye to it very soon, which is a bummer because the autofocus is almost perfect now. Still, I have my reasons. Two lenses, this one is really versatile for different situations and this one for low light situations. And it's really important for me that they're lightweight. A portable hard drive. And this is why I don't need a laptop. I just insert the SD card and it makes a backup of all the footage automatically. And I can review my clips in an app via integrated Wi-Fi. A portable light. It's been a lifesaver in so many situations. It's not only powerful, you can also control the color via app. I need two microphones. I got a trauma from last year in the Philippines. My microphone broke and I had to improvise to fix it. And this is why two microphones will go into my camera bag. What else? A Joby tripod, a GoPro for underwater shots and this little guy. 
This is the DJI Osmo Pocket. I know I'm very late in the game. It's about a year since its initial release and I normally wait for the next generation. But I was looking for a device that is so small in size that it doesn't attract so much attention when you vlog but still has a decent video quality. I've been using the Snapchat Spectacles, the Rilo 360 cam and even the GoPro. But from what I've seen so far, you can really squeeze out cinematic shots out of it and that convinced me. I haven't used it yet, so let's try it out and vlog at some crowded places. Now I'm gonna do my first travel trip abroad in 2020. Okay, I have to admit, um, this is not an exotic place here. Actually, I'm in the city of Salzburg, Austria, and which is one hour from my hometown in Germany. Not sure about the pants, but I'll definitely take this one. Actually, I'm looking for some cozy clothes for the airplane. I hope I can find something here. Maybe fits better. I'm sitting here in a Austrian shopping mall, which is uh, more or less crowded. Have I overcome my shyness with this uh, little thing? I don't think so. Okay guys, that was a fail. I should improve my talking skills instead of my gear. But how do you find my new investment? Regarding my shyness, no matter how small the cam, as long as you talk in public, you always attract attention. But aside from that, the Osmo Pocket is really, really handy. And if you don't soliloquize, just a few will notice that you're actually shooting a video. So small is it. So what about the video quality? I think it's quite decent. So the Osmo Pocket will be definitely part of my minimalist travel gear. And it will have its place right here. That's it guys, I'm well prepared. My camera bag feels light. I'm still shy though, I can't change. The next time you will see me at a much warmer place. So, see you next time. <laughs>